Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kohalo Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory be to our God, our power, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, whose name is Hamashayak Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory is due to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And honors be to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and like minded elders teaching this word truthfully and in sincerity on the four corners of the earth. Barak Yim La, Habayath, Madavada. Blessing to the house of David, which are your brothers laboring day in and day out, giving all diligence to make your calling of election sure. And to the Akim and Akwath, which are the brothers and sisters that also listen and believe on the glorious gospel being preached. Unto you I say Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is the Brother Sagalah back another day all through the Spirit. I pray this lesson is edifying, exhorting, and comforting, which is Philippians 4 and 7, the peace that surpasses all understanding, which is this truth. So I'm going to jump right into it, going into the wisdom of a king. The wisdom of a king. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 4, and it reads, Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? So where a word of a king is, the scriptures say there is power. Now here in the NLT, it says, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4 in the NLT, his command is backed by great power. No one can resist or question it. So a king's word and the king's wisdom is unquestioned, is unmatched, right? Let's get a few precepts to go with that. Going into this wisdom that we possess unto the believers. This wisdom we possess is the, the king's wisdom, the wisdom of a king. And that king is Yahweh Shah, our Lord, which is from the king of kings, the ultimate king, the heavenly father, Yahweh. This is the book of Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge, which is the, the wisdom that a king possesses. Wisdom and knowledge, which comes from the heavenly father. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. So it's a treasure to have the wisdom of a king, the wisdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Right? And this is what's going to stabilize the believers when all else fails. Now, let's show that even further in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. The ninth chapter, Wisdom of Solomon 9, in verse 17, And thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. So the Heavenly Father, right, who is only begotten Son, Hamashiach Abishai, has sent his Holy Spirit from above by way of wisdom and understanding. And that understanding is what's possessed by the prophets. Let's show that very fast. It's the book of Amos 3 and verse 7. And it reads, Surely Ha'adawan Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets or his secret unto his servants, the prophets, so that king's wisdom is with the prophets, with the men of the Lord, which are the representatives of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh here on the earth. Right? Those are the two candlesticks when you read in Revelation 11 chapter. Those who are actually holding the torch, which is that understanding, that that light, that candle, which is given by way of the inspiration of the Heavenly Father, which is through the Holy Spirit. So now when you go back, that's the wisdom and knowledge that's going to be the stability of our times. Back in Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 17, in thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. So we wouldn't have the king's wisdom unless it was sent. From, from the Most High, Yahweh, from the spiritual realm, from above. Now, let me show you that and explain and expound upon that further. It's the book of Revelation 7, and the last verse, the 17th verse, and it reads, it says, For the Lamb, whose name is Yahweh Shai, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, so we're being fed through Yahweh Shai, you know, by way of the Holy Spirit, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So we're being led by way of the Holy Spirit and by our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's how we are being led currently today in these last days. 
right? So Lakia. We're being led by way of wisdom and by our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Now, continuing on, Wisdom of Solomon 9 and verse 18, For so the ways of them which live on the earth will reform, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom, which makes sense once again, why wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. We're going to be saved through wisdom, and this wisdom is being sent once again, Revelation 7 and 17, right, by the Lamb who's in the midst of the throne, who has all power in heaven and earth given unto him by the ultimate king, once again, Yahweh, our Lord, our Heavenly Father, right? So that is the king's wisdom. Now let's go here to the book. We was in Wisdom of Solomon 9. Let's go back a few. Let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon 6. And I'm going to go right to the point. Wisdom of Solomon 6. They just read down. Wisdom of Solomon 6 in verse 9. Unto you therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. So we're supposed to retain and, and acquire all of the wisdom that the Heavenly Father you know, would bestow upon us through faith and understanding and not fall away, not fall out of the way of righteousness or out of promoting, you know, the, the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's wisdom. So that is our job here on the earth for you brothers that have been called into this faith to teach that have been teaching or, or learn and started teaching. You're supposed to not fall away. Let's read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 9. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. You're supposed to learn his wisdom and not fall out of the way of righteousness, out of the way of truth. Now that brings this to mind. It's the book of Psalm, the second chapter. And I'll go to the point here and go back. Psalm 2 and 10, it says, Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. That would be you brothers. Start with 144,000. That's how teaching this word. You are the future kings and judges of the earth. Verse 11, serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. We're supposed to serve the Heavenly Father with fear, right? And rejoice with trembling. Verse 12, kiss the son, which is us doing the work, remaining in the faith, not falling away. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So the blessed of, of Yahweh are those that put their trust and remain in him. Back in Wisdom of Solomon 6, in verse 9, Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. So supposed to learn and retain this wisdom and not fall out of the way of righteousness. Once again, going down further to the, to, uh, the verse 14, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 14, Whoso seeketh her, speaking of wisdom, early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his door. So you will find those that seek wisdom, you're going to find her sitting at your doors. The king's wisdom is going to be with the men of the Lord, and endowed unto the believers, right? The servants, the prophets, and those that hearken unto the men of the Lord. Now, let's show that further, that this wisdom is going to be sitting at your doors. This is Revelation 3. This comes to mind. In verse 8, it says, I know thy works, the words of Yahweh Shai. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, which is your mind, right? By way of the Holy Spirit. And no man can shut it, can shut your mind to this truth, right? What's for you is, is nothing that no one can do to offset that. You know, man can be given nothing except to be from Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. For thou hast a little strength, speaking of our faith, and has kept my word and has not denied my name. So the believers are not going to deny the name and the word of the Heavenly Father, the King's wisdom. This is uh, continuing on down in verse 20, Revelation 3 and 20, the words of Yahweh Shah. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will hear my voice and open the door, speaking of your mind, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. So those that have been privy, made privy to the king's wisdom, to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding found in the scriptures. Hey, that's Yahweh Shai knocking at the door. As we read in Revelation 7 and 17, you know, the lamb is in the midst of the throne feeding the believers. 
And that's going on currently uh, to the end until his return, to the return of our Lord Habashiach Yahushua. So that's currently what's going on. So that's the door. And once again, wisdom, Yahushua is knocking at the doors of the believers. Now let's show that even further. This is the book of Psalm. Speaking of those doors, right? Psalm 24, and I'll go right to the point. Psalm 24, in verse 8, it says, Who is the king of glory? The Lord Yahweh strong and mighty. The Lord Yahweh mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. No, that's the minds of the believers. So this truth has been with the believers. I'll show that real quick. In the book of James, the first chapter, has been with the believers from everlasting to everlasting. It's the book of James 1 and 21. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. So the engrafted word has always been with the believers, which is the king's wisdom. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now let's get the word for engrafted. Right? This engrafted word, it says it's able to save the souls of the believers. Engrafted goes into inborn and planted by nature and planted by others' instructions. That's G1721. So once again, it's inborn, is born within us by nature, implanted or inborn, born with us, like it says in uh, Jeremiah, the first chapter, the fifth verse, right? Before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee, the Heavenly Father said. So that would be to the believers. Inborn, implanted by nature, implanted by others' instructions. So us hearing this truth going out, and hearing our teachers, as it says in um, Isaiah, the 30th chapter, right, the 20th verse and 21st verse, when we heard this word, hey, that's what compelled us to come in. That's the king's wisdom. Psalm 24 and verse 8, who is the king of glory? The Lord Yahweh strong and mighty, the Lord Yahweh mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, the minds of the believers right are like everlasting doors they're like revolving doors and the king of glory shall come in who is the king of glory the lord yahweh of hosts he is the king of glory it says so that is who the king of glory is yahweh bahashim yahweh is the king of glory right who's opened the minds of the believers let's get a few more before i close it out this is the book of proverbs this is proverbs the 16th chapter Right, going into a king's wisdom, Proverbs 16 and 10. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king, his mouth transgresseth not in judgment. That's right, because the king is going to be following the words of the heavenly father and not his own. Right, and, and that, that wisdom that he's, he possesses is pure, it's pure wisdom. It's sent from Yahweh when you read, I'll just quote it in Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. Right from about the 20th verse on down. That's that pure wisdom from the Heavenly Father, that ancient wisdom, right? That's like fine wine. Now this is, um, let's get this. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. In the Apocrypha, also known as Sirach or Sirach. This is Ecclesiasticus, the 14th chapter. And uh, go to the point, the 20th verse. It says, Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom, and that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. He that considereth her ways in his heart shall also have understanding in her secrets, which that understanding, once again, is given to the prophets to disseminate, right? To impart, to expound. Now I'll go down to the point here, verse 27. By her wisdom, it says he shall be covered from heat and in her glory shall he dwell. So the king's wisdom is going to be dwelling with those, you know, who have been made privy to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And ultimately, who are the believers and those that can receive it, the king's wisdom, right, are going to be saved by applying it and having faith in the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, All praises, out of glory be to our God, our power, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahabashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. All praises, honor, and glory is due to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahabashai. Honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and like minded elders teaching this word truthfully. 
Ed and Sincerity, Barak Yabla, Habayath, Madabada, blessings to the house of David, which you brothers laboring on the four quarters of the earth, day in and day out, giving all diligence, making your calling of election sure, helping seal the elect of the nation of Israel for the return of our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai is at hand, and to the Akim Wa'agwath, brothers and sisters that also listen and believe on the glorious gospel being preached. Unto you I say, Shalom.